Hello everybody and welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. Today we're here with my Valentine, Sarah Benevolent, and this is actually a Valentine's present from Alyssa to Matt, so happy Valentine's Day guys. And this is a uh, kind of a fitting opening, um, considering we have Modern Horizons 2 on the, uh, I guess you'd say the Horizon. And these boxes lately have been spectacular. I think every box out of the last case of this that I opened had a Renin 6 in it. So, and speaking of Renin 6, we're supposed to be getting Renin 6 back in Innistrad, is what's been leaked. I don't know how that works. I don't know why he wouldn't be in Modern Horizons 2, or is it going to be a completely different werewolf vampire version of him? That could be interesting. But regardless of that, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Like the video, leave me a comment. That way you're entered into the giveaways I do here. Last week, we gave away a entire set booster box of call time for me hitting 7,000 subscribers. We're almost halfway to 8,000, so we'll give away another box when we hit 8,000. Also, please check out the affiliate links in the description for Magnolia Gaming. You go down there and tell Spencer hi. Also, we have a few for Amazon. Both of those help the channel just a teeny tiny bit. So any help is greatly appreciated. So let's get started. And the thing I noticed about these packs, a lot of these Modern Horizons booster boxes, the rares in the front, but I got these a few weeks ago, a couple cases of them, the rares in the back, and they're printed in Belgium. And they tend to be a lot better boxes than the, I don't know if they're American or Japanese printed ones. And of course we get our snow cupboards, those come in handy. So hopefully the trend will continue with the really, really nice boxes. For Matt's sake, that is a very kind gesture. Men, we don't want flowers and, and chocolates for Valentine's Day. We just want to, we just want magic cards and to, to sit around and play the game all day. Astral Drift. Another snow-covered island. And a foil elephant token. So what's everybody's thought on call time so far? I, I know it's kind of it's kind of stagnant right now. There's not a whole lot of people uh, talking about it or doing much with it. But I've been playing uh, call time constructed on Arena lately. Fiery Islet. There we go. First nice hit. And there are a lot of the cards of this set that are better than I think people are giving it credit for. The Alruns Epiphany, the one that lets you take an extra turn and make a couple birds. That thing is amazing. couple of the giant cards are really good so if you haven't really had a chance to sit down I know a lot of people don't get the opportunity because their game stores are closed and you know they just can't get out because of you know the state of the world and everything but if you got a chance sit down and brew with some of these cards it's a ton of fun I think the next step for me is to take a lot of the cards and see what I can do mixing them with modern horizons because they got a kind of a similar similar feel and I think a lot of the cards will play well off of each other. Force of Virtue, not the force we're looking for. Snow-covered forest, a foil sliver, very nice. And I think I forgot to put a snow-covered land over there. Let me dig that out right quick. Things happen. We're talking. I get distracted. So right now, of course, we want Ren and Six. We want Urza. We'll take a Yawgmoth. The Force of Negation, that card has went up quite a bit lately. I feel like it may be due for a reprint just because there's so many people that want it right now and the price is starting to get up there. I think it's about 50 bucks now for a, for a rare. In the foil variety, it's over 200. That surprised me. Prismatic Vista would probably be really expensive too if it didn't already get a reprint. And the Bear Queen. So far, so far we're kind of kind of slow here. We've got the Fiery Islet. Not much else. So hopefully this box will improve. Hopefully I didn't jinx it by saying all the boxes have been good. And then the first one out of the shoot of this new case winds up being just okay. 
Soul Herder, Lightning Skelemental, Snow Covered Mountain, Foil Pillage, really cool card. Land Destruction is one of the most frustrating things to play against. Land Destruction, Counter Spells, Discard. You always hate being on the other side of the table from that kind of stuff. There we go. Sword of Truth and Justice for our first Mythic. Nice hit. Hey, look at there. A foil nurturing peatland. There we go. Now we're getting some gas. That's the kind of stuff we're after. Love seeing those Horizon Lands and foil. Anytime you get a sword of anything, I consider that a win. So that was one fantastic pack. Lonely Sandbar and Aladmary's Call. This is a very nice, cheap tutor. Instant speed. Don't sleep on that card. It's been too cheap for too long. I don't think it'll ever be any cheaper than it is now. It's eventually people are going to catch on and scoop those things up. They haven't already. Waterlogged Grove. This is our third Horizon Land. We've got a foil one, a fiery islet. And now the Grove. So we've got our average of three lands out of the box. Now we just need our big hits. I talked about the box being kind of slow. And then it changed course. Bizarre Trade Mage. There's one of those in every single Modern Horizons booster box. Walla, Volatile Claws, the Mongoose, one of my favorite cards of all time, Pillage, Windows Vista showing up on cue. We just got done talking about it. We willed it into the universe. We willed its existence into being. So far, this is a really good box. We're not even halfway done with it. Only one Mythic Deep. This thing could wind up being epic. Mythic number two. We got the Hex Drinker. Very nice card. I don't think it's quite as expensive as it used to be. But it's still a really, really cool card. So we should hopefully get at least three more Mythics. Hopefully they're all good ones. Nether Spirit, creepy guy living in a hole in the floor. We got the emblem. Do we get the card? That'd be pretty epic to get the card and the emblem in the same pack. Is it possible? Nope, just Miss Syndicate and a Swamp. Answered Prayers, Seb McKinnon Artwork, Choking Tethers, Talisman of Curiosity, Collector Oof, this guy's very useful. He hoses artifacts all day long. Foil Shapeshifter. So tell me your guys' opinions. What do you think is going to be in Modern Horizons 2? What do you want to be in Modern Horizons 2? There's, you know, I, didn't they confirm fetch lands? Here's a future site. And in what capacity did they confirm fetch lands? If that is true. I don't think we know which ones it's going to be. You're my only Valentine. Cross and Tusker. And this may be the craziest rumor that I've heard lately, but I've heard there's possibility. There's Yagi Doggy. Woo! There we go. This box is terrific. Loving it. But I've heard rumors, and it's the craziest rumor that I've heard in a long time, but it's not out of the realm of possibilities. I've heard they're going to start a modern reserve list. As if modern isn't expensive enough already. 
And I know a lot of the cards have been printed into Oblivion already, but I feel like that's a very slippery slope. There she is. She showed up. She came to see us. Sarah the Benevolent. Welcome home. That is really, really cool. Face of Divinity. So what do we have now? We've got Sarah Benevolent, Yogmoth, Sword, and Hex Drinker already. And we still have, I mean, probably half a box left. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. This is a probably a 9 out of a 10 box already. Hopefully the second half of this thing is as good as the first half. Force of Rage? If we get that Force of Negation, we're going to call it a 10 out of a 10. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it now. If Renin 6 or Force of Negation shows up, 10 out of 10 box. Return from Extinction, Spell Snuff. Ranger Captain of Eos, there's our fifth mythic. This may this may have more than five. There's a ton of packs left. I mean, that's going to be disappointing to go through that many packs and not get any more mythics, but I mean... I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. This is incredible so far. Ninja of the New Moon. Ward Eye Witch, Scale Up. Endling. Of course, this is the black version of the Morphling. There's a cycle for each color. There's Brightling. There's Torchling. Endling, Morphling, and I don't remember the green one. What was the green one's name? The, the name eludes me currently. Chiller Pillar. I just like saying that. Force of Vigor, there we go. That is a good card. It's went up in value a ton lately. Snow-Covered Swamp. So we've hit three, three Horizon Lands. We've hit three or four of the Forces now. We just need the Blue Force. We'll take another Horizon Land. We'll take a Giver of Runes. That'd be nice. Cabal Therapist. This was actually the first card that was spoiled when Modern Horizons was announced. I remember pre-orders for that thing were like twenty to thirty dollars. Does anybody else remember that? Insanity. Elvish Fury. Shenanigans. Generous gift. Nice uncommon. Tectonic Reformation. You never get away with a Modern Horizons box without a. You generally get a Tectonic Reformation, Aria Flame. Plainbound Accomplice. Those are those are pretty standard fare for Modern Horizons boxes. I don't know if anybody really plays with those cards too much, but they're always in here. Windcaller Raven, Diabolic Edict, originally out of Tempest, I believe. Really strong card. Thundering Gin. Plague Engineer, nice it. Snow Covered Plains. Spider Token. Black Sliver, Guided Light, Sadistic Obsession, Mirrodin, Besieged. It's funny how in here there was two cards, I think at least two. There's Future Sight and Mirrodin Besieged. They were both blue that were named after another set. Treetop Ambusher, Spiky Goblin. Defile, Gluttonous Slug, Vengeful Devil, and a Cloud Shredder Sliver. Always excited to see the rare slivers, regardless of their value. They're always nice to see. You can build around them. And this guy's two mana for a 1-1 one, one Flying in Haste. It gives all your other slivers Flying in Haste. It seems pretty strong to me. I don't personally have a sliver deck, but if I did, I feel like he would be in there. Arkham Astrolabe, that was a really, that's probably the top common in the set for the longest time until Wizard said, nope, we're on thin ice. This is a lot better card now that we've got Call Time. That and the, uh, the other one. We'll see if it shows up. It generally does. Amorphous Axe, Diabolic Edict. King of the Pride, and 
Sunbaked Canyon. That is our fourth Horizon Land. There we go. And another foil rare, Reap the Pass. So we got two foil rares. Doing well, doing well. One more mythic for six mythic box it would make it epic. Especially if it was Ren and Six. Come on. Come on, Ren and Six. If we say your name enough, you'll show up. Fingers crossed. Iola's Influence. Snow Covered Forest. We got four more packs. Former packs hit a Force Negation or a Ren and Six. I'll say the Force Negation is probably still in play. The Ren and Six, less likely. Six Mythics. It's not the Ren and Six, but it's Season Pyromancer. That guy's extremely hot. No pun intended. Everybody's after him right now. Six Mythic Box. Wow. With the Foil Horizon Land. We will take it. No complaints there whatsoever. Crashing Footfalls, if you like rhinoceroses. Snow-covered forest and a foil snow-covered mountain. This is the box that just keeps giving. Come on, Blue Force, where are you at? Cave of Temptation, Pillage, Hogak! This guy was everywhere for a very short period of time. He got the axe very fast. Last pack. Do we get any last pack magic? Fingers crossed. Can't exactly cross my fingers while I'm going through the card, so I've got my toes crossed. It's Winds of Abandon. Very useful card, especially in Commander. We'll take it. Snow-covered mountain. Again, guys... Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment for the giveaways, and happy Valentine's Day, Matt. This is from Melissa, and I hope everybody here has a happy Valentine's Day, whether you've got somebody or not. Remember, we always have her to keep us company.